Pocket Calora. Jesper Holmgren, are you related to Michael? Mike Holmgren, the infamous Green Bay Packers head coach? <laughs> are you a football fan, Jesper? Eric Ramirez. Who and what is the pocket Calora? Meow man cometh like a thief in the night. Mom is uh, laying in bed at, at her house. I just spoke to her on the phone. She feels a little better today. She, uh, she had another chemo session Monday. But she's basically been in pain and suffering since October of 2020. Who and what is the pocket Calora? JH is about to start his first cycle. Yeah. Four weeks of PCT, including Cloman, should do it. There was times Lenny and I took no um, PCT, if I recall correctly. A rim at X, though, watch, it's very damaging to the arteries. It'll kill your good cholesterol. Thanks, Aristophanes of Athens. Appreciate it. I hope she gets well, too. But, yeah, test an Ante 500 mix for 12 weeks. Should, should get some good results. Oh, you're from Sweden, Jesper? Okay. No, I'm not on TRT, Daddy. The pocket Calora. <laughs> Shouldn't Lenny move up here and get an apartment with me instead of his mom? Yeah, I would have. I just renewed my lease for another year. I got a one-bedroom. Would be nice because it's, as you guys know, how expensive things are getting. I didn't know Lenny was going live. I just do mine randomly. You know, Lenny does his several days throughout the week consistently. So, no big deal, Mike Paul. You can watch one of, one of the other live and watch the recording of the other. If you're not going on stage, is it worth taking gear? When you're older and you, you know, you need TRT, it's worth it then. But to juice when you're test levels are perfectly fine and you're in your youth i don't see the point yeah i'm still living the single life clenbuterol is not worth it it's uh i think cornelius had something on instagram about the negative effects of clen and t3 on the heart so i'm not on tinder or any of those apps but i'd stay away from clenbuterol yeah i hit some back today I had some cardio some yoga Road to a thousand bench press. I'm doing well. How about yourself? What age should a man move out of his parents' house? It's just depends. I moved out when I was 23. Somebody asked about panic attacks when I had them. Um, uh, like light sweats. The main thing was heart palpitations that lasted up to two hours. Like a 
like you're losing, I felt like I was losing my grip on reality. Um, just couldn't think straight, just no confidence to, to drive or do stuff like that. But they're pretty intense. Thankfully, I've got them under control. A lot of recreational drugs were the, the cause of it, but thanks, Big Daddy, for the five bucks or whatever, Canadian dollars or whatever. Big Ma, I had to quit my part-time job. I was getting burned out. I was doing six, six and a half days a week to be technical about it. And just I felt like I was always getting ready for work. The money was good, but so now I'm just relegated to my full-time job. Yeah, I was big on D-ball. It was one of the, probably the best, uh, best steroids I took. Wasn't as harsh as Anadrol. I got good gains, good pumps. <laughs> a 75-year-old guy at JH's gym screamed at him aggressively to stop dropping the weights and how he's been at the gym for 30 years. Well, you really shouldn't drop weights. Dumbbells, it, it warps them, bends them up. I mean, if it's bumper plates, yeah, you could drop them. But uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, does he own the gym? So on one hand, I could see his point. He has to have more tact in how he addresses you, not so aggressively. Is he in good shape? Marry a rich woman that I love. That's a lot easier said than done, my friend. Advice on not being able to calm down after the gym. No stims, just can't settle down like a panic attack. Hmm. Maybe you want to get that looked at, get some blood work and a physical, because if you're not taking stimulants, you should, I mean, I mean, I have heart disease technically, and I'm able to get my heart rate down and things after training. So could be something physical going on. Don't don't rule that out. You know, getting getting lab work and things like that. If it's not stimulant related, um, you could try deep breathing, or do, if you have time, do a cool down, some light cardio, and just focus on breathing, getting your heart rate down. But I mean, you could have like a, I don't know, you might have an anxiety disorder. Who knows? What are my thoughts on Arthur Jones? Three days a week, full body routine, one to two sets of failure. It's funny you mentioned that. I've been watching a lot of Mike Menser stuff lately, um, and I'm thinking about training that way. Just low volume, high intensity. I don't know about as infrequent as he specified, like every 10 to 14 days. But, yeah, you can get great results. Anything that's a new stimulus on the body. Max Skull Crushers, I did 275 back in the day at my strongest. <laughs> take on high stimulant pre-workouts. I don't take high, sti I don't advise people take, there's no reason to take that much stimulant pre-workout, Jesper. Maybe if you're saving it for a powerlifting competition to get the actual ergogenic effects of that much caffeine, but... Time, day in and day out, if you need that much stim, I mean, something's not right. You're not sleeping right. You're not hydrating. You're not eating enough. I mean, a little bit of caffeine is okay, but high stim, three, four, five hundred milligrams is, is excessive in my opinion. You did the right thing, J.H. Turn the other cheek. An old guy like that. If it was a young punk, it'd be a different story. I can't speak to that, Rolito. I'm not uh, up to date on Jason Blaha catfishing an Australian woman. Michael Thunder started training three exercise, one set. I'm growing like never before. Yeah, that's the the basis of the high intensity, the heavy duty Mike Menser training. 
it's better if you have a weightlifting partner for to get the force reps and the rest pause and that but uh you could do it on your own and you, you don't have to really shy away from machines but at least for like a periodized you know portion of your training you know prioritize doing like high intensity and then you can go back to more volume more reps Yeah, the, well, Mike, the uh, channel's John Little. I guess he was a writer for a magazine, or he might have been a bodybuilder himself. But he only has like 6,000 followers on YouTube, but he has got a ton of audio clips with Mike Menzer and some footage. So check it out when you're done here. It's John Little on YouTube. But it's pretty interesting. He was very articulate, Menzer, and I don't know. He passed away pretty young. I don't know how long ago, but it's just interesting. Yeah, I used to like ephedrine from the gas station, but I can't touch this stuff anymore. I used to get hopped up on stimulants, but I, I steer clear now. That's good, Brent. We possess you to become a freak and a non-cookie cutter. Did I ever have fantasies or thoughts about doing nonviolent crime like drug dealing? Would it be a better life versus working your life? No, I never thought about doing that stuff. I had, you know, fantasies of maybe getting into wrestling or something like that. Or Big Larry said he was going to get Lenny and I into movies, but nothing ever took off. And that's, you know, the wrestling part is our own fault. We didn't pursue it. But I never wanted to deal drugs or. Maybe collections on the side, but a lot of times you're collecting from some old guy, some degenerate gambler, and it's like, so you have to intimidate him or, God forbid, do worse. So I don't know if I could live myself with myself doing that. Did I need uh, aromatase inhibitors for 500 mil milligrams test? No, I didn't have a problem with acne or gyno from test, and the, especially 500 milligrams, but... I was blessed genetically. I didn't get a acne, but gyno I got from Tren and Deca, actually, not so much from Test. I'm still alive after my vaccine from last August, but I don't plan on taking it anymore because now the virus is endemic. Just like the, you know, it's just never going to go away, just like the flu. I never really watched Jason Blaha stuff, so people always bring his name up in my lives. And Mike Hawk. Is that the skateboarder? Yeah, I believe clenbuterol is bad on the heart. Don't use it. Just get your diet and your cardio in. You shouldn't need it. Menser started smoking meth and was a full-blown homosexual. I, yeah, I did actually hear he got into drugs. I don't know which ones, but that's pretty sad if he did. Jesper wants to know if I'm still using the sauna. I don't have access to any. I wish I did. But right now here, Jesper, in South Carolina, it's like a sauna outside. So if you walk around long enough, you'll be gushing like you're in a sauna. It's so hot and humid here. Thoughts on movie remakes? Most of them, I don't. I like the originals better. I don't know. Name some, and I'll give you my opinion. Bootsy is a. Uh... Can you see her? Bootsy just came out from hiding. I took her to the vet today. She had bad skin allergies. I had to get her a cortisone shot. How to build quad sweep. Uh, I never really had a good one myself, so I think a lot of it's genetic. Play around with different foot stances on the um, Smith machine squat, hack squat, and leg press. Because you really can't do so on squat. 
unless you've got real great mobility and flexibility in the hips and ankles. Um, believe it or not, walking backwards with a weighted sled, I feel it in the sweep. Walking backwards in general, like on an inclined treadmill that's turned off also. Um, you could do load the bar in like front squat position on your top of your chest and do reverse lunges might hit it too. I turned the switch on Messi's big dog. Like a high functioning psychopath. I'm able to work in retail and then when I come home I shut it down. But that's why when I do my lives, I'm, I've usually been off for the day because I won't do them after work. I don't feel like talking to anybody after being in retail all day. So today I was off from work. I didn't really speak to anybody at the gym. Uh, what's Lenny's vitamin regimen right now? I'm not sure. I don't know if that stuff, micronutrients are going to hurt the kidneys and liver as much as other toxins in the environment and foods, but I, I don't know what he's taking, so. Yeah, Lenny should work at Publix. It's a great company, great benefits. I mean, even the grocery department, he could get paid decently. I don't know if he's looked into it. Joey Garbarino, thoughts on Jay being a scab. <laughs> What's that? Scarface or The Godfather? That's a tough one. I like both. I actually own both on DVD. Uh, I, I'm Italian, so I have to go with The Godfather. DB123 needs motivation to lift back tonight. Help him out, maniacs. You got any inspirational words for him? Pierce, I hope my cat lives to at least 21. Larry, the bodybuilding. Oh, yeah, Larry, the guy, uh, he was friends with Boston Lloyd. Is that who you're referring to? Good. The New, New Jersey Misfits chapter, DB123, is going to be the, the president. Have I heard of a fatal disease in young cats called FIP? I've heard of feline Im immunodeficiency virus, FIV, but not that one. Do you ever feel like shouting at the fat lesbians at work? <laughs> Is there any point to life? Of course. It's to glorify God. He puts you on this earth. <laughs> Leo literally abandoned his daughter because he watched a he wanted a male lion and left the country. <laughs> Typical. What is it? A shit skin with a trust fund? What was the first thing Jason ever said to me? What do you think I'll rip up to if I'm 200 pounds now and I do the ruby? What do you think I'll rip up to? He didn't say the ruby. He said just a bodybuilding show in general. That was like 2004. Thoughts on Nate's girlfriend ignoring his entire existence? A scab is someone who doesn't pay union dues. Lenny doesn't believe in unions either, Joey, so... So he, how, does, how can that be that he's Jay's a, drives a truck for a company that has a union and he doesn't pay the dues that it's, that's frowned upon? My mom and dad know like Italian words and phrases and bad words. That's about it. Favorite Scorsese movie? Uh, oh, Taxi Driver, maybe. Hey, Timothy, how's it going? Yeah, Menser was an atheist. He was big in a Ayn Rand, Ayn Rand, or whatever her name was. Freakiest legs, Tom Platts or Paul DeMeo. Hmm. I go with Tom Platts.
yeah, you should be able to push press 315 if you did that once you get on 500 megs of test. Good for you, DB. You're like a kindred spirit. I, I, you have all the stray cats you're taking care of. And then your neighbors pitch in. It's a good, good community thing going. Leather Daddy Furry Murray says, I bought into Leo's bullshit. What do you mean? Just because I went on with him doesn't mean I completely trusted the guy from the get-go. You don't know what thoughts were going into my head. Me yeah, Menser had the porno mustache like the 80s porn stars had. I like Lee Priest's physique, yeah. He had a lot of muscle for five foot four, whatever he is. Front calves, you mean like tibia? Mike, you could do like the lying leg curl and sit, you know, obviously you're, you're prone when you're doing the leg curl for hamstrings. You sit on, you know, facing up supine and uh, put the, the pad on the top of your foot and do extend and flex if you're seriously looking to build your tibialis and that. The perfect age to die is whenever God calls you home, Pierce. What, uh, what didn't I like about Ravisi? Uh, nothing personal. I just used it to fire myself up because I was still a fat power lifter at the time. He was a bodybuilder who I thought was a pretty boy. So those were the types I would call out. Nothing personal. I'm just sitting on my beanbag, Timothy, watching the world go by. How's, how's everything with you and the podcast going? I would have blown Dale off the stage. I don't know. I mean, he's bigger, um, better legs, uh, you know, better... I have some better body parts than him and vice versa, but I'm not sure of his conditioning. But I like Dale's physique, actually. He's very athletic. Athletic. He does could do the box jump when I visited him last year. But, yeah, maybe for bodybuilding, I, yeah, you could say I, I would have beaten him. I don't know. Appreciate the, the, the compliment, though. Yeah, I might try the Menser mustache. <laughs> People will think I'm a cop then. Yeah, I didn't like that episode, Jamie, when uh, Lee Priest did all the talking and he was mocking, um, imitating Fuad, Abiyad, and Lenny and I were just sitting there like dopes. Did I bench with ring finger on the rings? Yeah, either the ring finger or the pinky. Leo's complaining about racism, is he? Who's better, Mike Quinn or Mike Christensen? Mike Christensen doesn't ring a bell. Mike Quinn had a good physique. Who nailed sexy Vanessa that night at Lou's? Which one was that? The older lady or the, the bodybuilder? I can't remember. <laughs> Dale's built like an ice cube. Dale the freezer, Dale. MK677 never did anything for me. I tried it on three occasions. Supposed to help you sleep and supposed to help you uh, help your appetite, burn fat. I don't know. It was disgusting. I took it twice a day. I didn't notice anything. Thanks, Timothy. Yeah, I need to keep saying I, I need to get it started. 
Why didn't Marcus Rule win a Mr. Olympia? Uh, he had a ton of mass, but wasn't quite as dialed in as, like, Ronnie. Freakish mass, Marcus Rule, but if you compared him next to Ronnie, Ronnie was grainier and, you know, had shredded glutes. He looked really good for one show, the New York Pro or the Toronto Pro. Marcus Rule, where you could he could have beaten those guys had they done it, but it was those were smaller shows to qualify for the Olympia. But yeah, that's probably the main reason is when he completed competed at Olympia, he had guys just as big but maybe better condition. I don't know. How far could I've gone if I had per, pursued strongman? Uh, I don't know. Those guys tend to be taller than me. I'm five foot eight, so I think longer limbs and leverages would have helped me. There might have been some things I struggled with just because of my shorter arms, but some of the events I think I would have really held my own on. So I'm not sure. Worst pec strain, I tore my pec taking uh, Leviquin for a prostate infection with Lenny, just thankfully a minor pec tear. It took, uh, I don't remember, this is like 15, 20 years ago. It took three or four weeks before I started benching again. Could have been a lot worse, so I kind of lucked out. Pro hormones, safer and better than SARMs? No, not necessarily. They're both liver toxic they'll mess up your cholesterol pro hormones put on more size for me than SARMs but uh, I made small talk with Tony Huge in Vegas there were so many people in that group um, I talked more with them on um, the podcast with Rob Zilla and Leo but I didn't really speak to him much in Vegas because just so many things going on. Will you ever meet up with Father when he's fully recovered? Probably not. Light a fire under him, DB. Come on. You're, that's your brother. Get him in there with you. Uh, you could hit arms twice a week, Thomas. I'm planning on doing that this week. I had back and buys today. I had chest and tries Monday. So Saturday I have a day where I could train before legs, so I figure I'll just do arms. But, um, yeah, as long as you're recovering, give it a shot. How do you get over feelings of nostalgia for the past? I don't know. I haven't really. I think about the 80s all the time. Not so much when I was lifting, but when I was a kid because there wasn't any or many deaths of loved ones. Just good times, you know, family structure, having meals together. My dad was a coach of my Little League baseball team. And just, I like the movies. I like the culture better in the 80s and than everything now. So I think about it from time to time. So I think it's a good thing to do. Just I can't. You can't dwell on it. You got to move on and live in the here and now, and rot in 2022 with the year of our Lord. <laughs> Darren Sadler was five seven, huh? So maybe there was hope for me to compete in that. Thoughts on turkesterone? Is that the stuff that um, more plates, more date sells? I don't know. I never tried it. it. Seems like it's a something that was popular in the 80s or 90s. Beta ectosterone that's making a comeback. What got Pomp so scared at the Las Vegas Lounge? I don't know. He's an atheist. Anything goes. So I don't know what he was scared about. Do you think Big J could have been a competitive bodybuilder? 
possibly because look, you know, I was competitive at state shows, and look how big I was when I was, you know, bench and heavyweight. I had a little more shape than he does, so biggest my arms ever got to were like 21 inches. Best shoulder day routine, some sort of press. Back in the day, it was behind the neck press, but dumbbell press is good. Um, side lateral raises or heavy partial side laterals, some rear delts. I don't do upright rows anymore, but I used to. I don't curl much, very heavy weights these days. Uh, hopefully Jay will lay off the, the juice and not drink or do drugs again after that scare he had. But you're not going to get any drunk lives out of me. Bootsy's buff enough. She's 12 pounds. She's just got a little tummy on her, so she doesn't need any protein powder. Best bicep and tricep exercises, uh, skull crushers, weighted dips, overhead dumbbell extension, and then uh, we back in the day it was heavy barbell curl, hammer curls, concentration curl. But I like preacher and spider curl too, so if I had to give up one exercise and never do it again, would it, what would it be? Deadlifts off the floor. But I would do trap bar deadlifts, but not traditional deadlifts off the floor. Do you think arm day is necessary if you're hitting heavy compounds for reps? Yeah, I still think it is necessary to get a couple isolation movements. Do I regret not taking life more serious instead of bodybuilding? Oh, yeah. Every day. Every day I regret not. It's not too late now, but I should have gotten a, an in-demand skill like the medical field or HVAC or electrician or plumber, which I can still do now. But I tell people, young aspiring bodybuilders, do that while you're young. You could always lift on the side. And then once you've got a career in order, then you can focus more heavily on bodybuilding because it's so expensive. No, I never tried Ico Pro, but I remember the commercials. Could you have won the Olympia with Lenny's back? Yeah, Lenny had a, his back as good as, as, as anybody's. Me too, but we didn't have the V taper because our waists were too thick. But, you know, back width and thickness was there from our training. WBF. No, I don't remember what, what that is. I'm a fan of Menser style training, at least, you know, until it stops working or you get burnt out of it. But that'd be my preference is Menser's heavy, heavy duty style training. I used to personal train on the side. Thoughts on Aleister Crowley pleading for God on his deathbed. I heard, uh, Nietzsche was doing the same. He went crazy in a lunatic asylum and was reciting Bible verses over and over. Well, I mean, if, the, if they came to general repentance, to genuine repentance and believed in Christ, they wouldn't need to plead. They would just confess and say, they, you know, they repent of their sin of unbelief and believe on Jesus Christ as their Savior. And like the thief on the cross, they'd be saved. They don't have to plead with God. None of us have to. The work's been done on the cross. Ever got starstruck at looking at my lord. <laughs> yeah, his calves. He's got some good calves on him. Jennifer Connelly, yeah. She's a beautiful actress. Soap I use. Um, it's a liquid. It's called Everyman Jack. They have sandalwood, uh, sandalwood, cedarwood. I got it at Costco, so I use that. Thank you. Oh, yeah, the WBF Bodybuilding League. Mm. 
Well, it's tough. Like he started the football league and Trump started to try to rival a, a big, well-established household name like IFBB for bodybuilding or NFL. It's tough to do. But I, he paid him well, Vince, and it was Lenny was really into it. It was a good opportunity for those guys at the time to make some money. Biggest mistake to avoid in lifting and bodybuilding is um, if things aren't working, just keeping, you know, try to adapt, try to change things up. You know, if things are getting stale, if you're not growing and everything else is up to snuff, you're eating and sleeping and hydration, if you're taking gear, don't, don't get so locked in on certain routines. So sometimes you have to change. Would I marry Amber Heard? <laughs> Only if I want little treats on my bed if you catch my drift. It's sick, it's piss. All you have to do is put your trust, your faith in Jesus Christ, and God will forgive you. The penalty's been paid. Everything you've done and I've done, the most wicked people have done, has been paid on the cross. Thoughts on Andrew Tate? Hmm, I don't know. I have no idea who that is. Are SARMs worth it? Well, they, the use is going to increase your risk for heart disease because I took blood work when I took them. Rad 140. I grew from it. I, I had good results, but my cholesterol was messed up. So if you're like me and you're prone to heart issues, then it's not worth it. If you're a top-level genetic freak and you think you can make it big in bodybuilding or powerlifting, maybe then it's worth it. No, I don't watch the Carolina Hurricanes. I never really got into uh, hockey, Jesper. But I know... Some people I work with like hockey. They said they were in the... They made it pretty far in the finals, I guess you could say. Yeah, of course. Uh, we must, you know, try to live righteous, sin-free lives. It's, none of us will, you know... You could do it through the power of, of God and the Holy Spirit. And then when you slip up, you confess. Confess your sins to God. And you don't have to go to a priest... Do it in the privacy of your own, you know, own home. And then you move on and walk in faith. Grossest thing abroad wanted me to do to her. Uh, nothing really nasty off the top of my head. I can't think of anything. Does Bill Kazmaier know who I am? Probably not. Thomas, none of us can convince you to believe rationally. That's only done by the work of God, the Holy Spirit, you know. But I can direct you to some apologetics. There's plenty of them on YouTube and on the Internet. Um, Gregory Kokel, look up Lee Strobel. He was an atheist. He wrote for the Chicago Tribune. He was a skeptic, and his wife became a Christian. So he went on a, a search did a ton of research and contemplation and became a Christian, and he's written several books now. And there's been other staunch atheists that became converted. So there's, you know, good information and testimonies out there, but ultimately when it happens, it's not a human that's going to convince you. It's the working of supernatural, of the Holy Spirit of God. Yeah, Kazmaier had a great physique for a strong man. Yeah, the Catholic Church, uh, it's very suspect, I have to agree. Thoughts on YK-11? Is that some kind of SARM? I've never used it, so I don't know. Is that the fat-burning one? 
I know there's one that's, or is that carterine? It's supposed to be good for fat loss, may help your lipids, but it's also been tied to cancer. So I'm not, not sure if the juice is worth the squeeze there. I watched the Misfit videos from their inception from 2009 when Jason Genova started making them. People were texting me from Florida laughing about it, and then slowly Lenny and the other guys were in them. So I, yeah, I was because at that time I was homesick. I'd only been living in South Carolina for a year. So from day one, yeah, I've, I've been watching all their videos. Christianity makes the most sense. I mean, there's some things I question, but uh, atheism, like, no, I've never, I would never ever say there's no God. And for people to say that, you know, definitively. Yeah, we're in the last days, but we've been in them for a while. But um, there's so many things. Especially lately with, you know, the cost of gas and fuel going up. I think oil is going to play a big part. Artificial intelligence. Just the things here in the U.S., you know, things that are acceptable now that were unheard of 50, 100 years ago culturally. So we're definitely heading in that direction. Is there a hope for a new video or reunion of the Misfits one day? I'd like to hope, but it doesn't doesn't look uh, too promising. I hope they do and invite me. You know, I would try to make every effort to, although I'm not one of the originals, but like Lenny, Jay, Andrew, and Brad, uh, Synthal, Mark, and the others. Be nice for them to have a reunion. They can make it happen. Defending Your Life, 90s movie. Who's in it, Blahino? right Pierce we live in a beautiful creation of God design is all around us after my parents pass on to the better place will you consider moving back to Florida well you're assuming they'll pass before me but I had a brother that passed 12 years ago so I don't know what 30 seconds holds I went to the dentist last week, and the girl, the hygienist, was doing my teeth. And at the end, she's like, Do you, so what's life going to look like in six months for, you know, referring to my second, second cleaning of the year? I'm like, honey, I said, I don't know what life's going to be like in the next 30 seconds. And she got a laugh out about it. So that's my answer to you, my friend. But if they do pass before me, eh, I consider going to, I've always been intrigued by, going out west to like Arizona or Colorado. <laughs> Did I ever consider being a YouTube sellout like the other misfits? What do you mean? I'm basically like a monk now, Pierce. No women. I just train, go to the gym. I visit my parents. I'm a MGTOW monk. Ever get tonsil stones? No. No, I've been, uh, I can't afford it. I was doing the boxing lessons and last year the guy, he would do like group group um, sessions for 12 bucks. So you can get 30 to 45 minutes and he'd like work circuits and you'd hit the mitts and then do like push-ups, jumping jacks. Then somebody would hit the heavy bag and I liked it and it was 12 bucks and I didn't have to have an appointment. I could just pop in. But the guy got married. I understand he's focused on on making it more of a business. So now he charges like a hundred for four sessions, private. But honestly, I just my bills are just too high. I can't afford it. I would have liked to, so I've gotten away from boxing and hitting the bag. I could still hit the bag, but as far as like the boxing lessons, no. Did I ever think about taking social media more seriously, try to promote myself and my viewpoints? 
I think about it, but I don't. It's a lack of confidence. I mean, really, people say do a training video. I'm not moving any weight. I'm well past my prime. I don't have any great high education where I could like discuss things in great detail. I mean, I can get my viewpoints and opinions, but and just general life advice. But I don't really have a niche that I found yet. If I come up with one, maybe I would look into doing this more often. But yeah, I'm a hundred percent Italian, but Italian American, so I don't speak Italian. That's right. Lee Frazier. Practice grace, gratitude. It is very important. Gratitude journals, probably something we should all do. It's going, Justin. How you doing? <laughs> Any tricks to maximize potential without going on gear for a natty competition? You could be a cheater like uh, Joe Dilio in Florida who opened a gym who took Winstrel for a natural show. No, I mean, the tr the things, the tricks you could use are, would really be the same that apply to um, uh, an enhanced competitor. Or just, um, you know, the, the, that last week's critical with the water manipulation and the sodium and carb loading if you're going to do it. So I don't really have any tricks just make make sure you're in great condition leading up to that last week. My grandparents, well, they were from Sicily, Naples, and Brescia. So three different parts of Italy. <laughs> Dave Palumbo looks like RoboCop. Dave Palumbo looks like the uh, the bad guy in the movie from the 80s with Stallone called Cobra. Where there's like a... He really looks like... I forgot the guy's name. But look, the movie's Cobra with Sylvester Stallone and Dave Palumbo looks like his nemesis in it. Yeah, I don't watch... Most fitness YouTubers, really, it is it's a lot of the same crap, same content, but people like that. It's popular. It's like the Liver King guy. The, the debate is, is he juicing or not lately? He's making money, and he's laughing all the way to the bank, I guess. Isn't that the, the, the end game, the bottom line for these people that do any of this stuff? No retreat, no surrender with Bruce Lee. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, the Night Stalk. Yeah, the Night Stalker was the yeah the character from uh, the Stallone movie Cobra. <laughs> where where Eric Wasser's ancestors from? Probably uh, Israel. Do fitness advice for older dudes. Yeah, I could do that. I have to adapt now. That's a good point. I'll be 44 soon, so it's a lot different as far as recovery. But I, I place a high emphasis on sleep these days, I'll tell you that. Why did Jason call out the Vietnamese bodybuilder guy? He was about Pearl Harbor. He's actually Filipino, but he thought he was Vietnamese. I don't know why he, he fixated on him. I already ate dinner. I had uh, some chicken I made in the crock pot, some sushi rolls. I took my fiber supplement, just generic psyllium husks. And that's it. I'll eat tomorrow morning before the gym. Marion Cabretti. That's, yeah, that was uh, Stallone's character in Cobra. Yeah, I miss my old red pickup truck. It probably is still going somewhere in Georgia that the guy I sold it to. I had multiple offers on that thing.
how do you boost test levels naturally getting enough good fats in your diet enough sleep enough hydration you could supplement with zinc magnesium boron um, high intensity you know cardio weightlifting avoiding excessive long low intensity cardio mitigating stress Why are Marvel and DC movies so lame? I don't know. It's a good question. I avoid them like the plague. Did you ever have one-nitis for a girl? Yep, many times. It's a beta move. Uh, don't engage in it. You should, you know, if you're looking, you, you should spin plates as a lot of these so-called experts say, is, you know, Look, have several girls in your, you know, programmed on your phone at one time and don't just fixate on one. Never seems to work out. But I've had it before. Yeah, it's pretty pathetic, I have to admit. But spin plates, meet several girls. It's tough for somebody like me who's more introverted. But if you're not, then, you, you know, there's so many of them out there. Jane stole strawberries from Aldi. Doesn't surprise me. If you had Lenny's Tom Platts of abs, what would you do to get it down? A lot of uh, long fasting to begin with, and then probably eventually get into uh, just time-restricted feeding. But out of the gates, I would do long 48- to 72-hour fasts, like um, Cole, what's his name? The snake diet says, do a low-carb refeed, more of it. Don't be worried about losing muscle. Just get the, the waist down, a lot of fiber, you know, nutrient-dense foods. That's what I would do. And then go back to, you know, time-restricted eating. Yeah, I think uh, they do. This generation needs more masculine role models in the movies. Sight enhancement oils. I don't know. I never would try them. I don't like the look it gives the muscle. It's a ballsy move injecting that stuff, though. I'm sure it hurts. <laughs> Do you think Jason would have beaten Richie Batista? Who's that? Highest number of pull-ups I could do in a set? Uh, I don't know. We always did them weighted. With like the weight belt. But when I was heavy off season, like 10 to 12 at 275 pounds. Kind of girl I prefer is old fashioned, conservative Christian values, good relationship with her mother and father, is obedient, submissive. Structure how do I structure training these days? Push pull legs. Some days, some weeks, I get two push sessions in, two let two um, pull sessions. Legs every Sunday at the layer. Uh, the days I don't lift, I'll do steady state cardio in a fasted state, and then lifting days I usually try to get some high intensity cardio, and then just a lot of walking in general to get my step count up. Yeah, John Meadows is greatly missed. He was a great asset. Um, to the bodybuilding community. Any cookout advice for making chicken and broccoli more appeasing? Uh, use the crock pot and like cook it in chicken broth or something. Or just utilize um, all different condiments, you know. There's hot sauces that have, like, no sugar and mustards and things like that. You could try wrapping the chicken in tinfoil and grilling it. It keeps the moisture in. Yeah, I have anterior pelvic tilt myself, so I don't know. There's a lot of YouTube videos on that, Isaiah, you could check out. 
but I have it bad, and my low back's been bothering me lately because of it when I'm squatting or deadlifting. Thoughts on Stallone's best physique in Rambo 3 when he was being a, being trained by Franco Colombo. I don't know. I have to go back and watch it. I don't remember what he looked like. How much can I strict shoulder press standing nowadays for reps? Not much. I got a problem with my right shoulder locking it out, my rotator cuff. So my hope, my, all my presses have gone down, gotten weaker, you know, so... How many reps? Maybe 185 for five or six. I don't know. It sucks. Thoughts on cauliflower crust pizza? I've had a few. They weren't bad. It's a little different. Lower carb. But yeah, hip thrust and hip flexor stress stretches might help with the anterior pelvic tilt. But ultimately, I think that's how you're structured. So you're going to be prone to low back pain because I have been lately. What are good lifts for strong takedowns for judo? Seems like it's a lot of core and twisting. Uh, seems like your lats are involved a lot. So I would think, you know, back, any back exercises and then make sure you're limber in your waist. You don't want to be too stiff there as you strain an oblique or something like that. But I mean, I would do explosive movements like power cleans, um, farmer's walks, things like that. But it seems, yeah, like lats would be involved, pecs, you know, your arm in a certain position, like throwing somebody, so... So, I mean, the basic power lifts, power lifting movements, bench, squat, deadlift, make sure you're doing your lats, and then power cleans. Least favorite lift when I was power lifting or bodybuilding. Uh, it was like a love-hate with squats. It was so intimidating when I was lift, squatting so heavy back in the day, getting under that weight. That's why I think those guys, guys that squatted tons of weight, like, Fred Hatfield, it's impressive. Thousand pound squatters. I only went up to like 600. It was intimidating. But I mean, it's a great exercise to do, so. <laughs> How many days should you bench a week? Natural, 23 years old. Just do once a week. Unless you're doing like the West Side training, like a, a max effort day and a dynamic day. For, for speed. Any advice for using creatine? Uh, try to use monohydrate. It's the most inexpensive. And try to do the loading phase of five grams four times a day for five to seven days. But don't buy into the research that any of those other forms are better than monohydrate. And I will tell you, it's gotten very expensive, like a lot of things. Have I tried shrugging at the top of the press, a starting strength way? No. Shrugging avoids impingement. No, I should give it a try, though. It's only on standing press where it bothers my shoulders the most. Like, if I do a Smith machine or dumbbell press, it's not as bad. Getting compliments on the Meow Man shirt, huh, Brandon? That's good. Any chicks? Anything I'd be interested in? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's sick. It's piss. It says I look like I'm in, I'm in my 30s. Thank you. 
can you talk Ian McCarthy out of jumping from a high-rise parking lot? Is that the kid that was in the Genova videos with the glasses? Yeah, my traps, my neck, my shoulders are all atrophied. Getting up in age, not being on gear. Yeah, Biden is by far the worst president. I don't know what's going to happen. My fear is Michelle Obama is going to run and beat Trump or DeSantis. You watch. That's their plan. Yeah, I like the heavy partial side laterals. I try to avoid watching porn real Tev, but I have to admit occasionally because I'm taking black maca powder and it drives my sex drive up every time. So I, I, I give in every now and then once every 10 to 14 days. I don't know. It's highly addictive, but I have to admit that's if it's once every two weeks, that's once every two weeks too much. You know what I mean? Ian, the nerd who is in his, who's in early Genova videos, has been threatening to kill himself for months. Well, you should take it seriously. I mean, it's, it's really not a laughing matter. But I remember Prince Andrew saying he was depressed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know the guy. I would reach out to him personally. But it's never, you know. There's a lot of guys, a lot of people depressed. It's usually young men more so than women. But... Yeah, I don't know what his... Probably has no purpose in life. He needs to, uh, like all of us, just work on his relationship with God to realize, you know, we're the apple of God's eyes. And if Ian was the only person, he would have sent Christ to die just for Ian and the rest of us. So, no, I don't think I'll get back on gear. Maybe TRT one day. Any current reads? Yeah. I just finished What Everybody is Saying by Joe Navarro. I highly recommend it on body language cues from people. He was in the FBI, so like in regards to interrogation tactics and just everyday life, reading people's body language uh, goes with the limbic system in the brain. I don't know. I started a while ago, but early on they talk about the limbic, our prehistoric brain region the limbic system or something like that how it controls even if you try to think one thing like if you know uh fight or flight response it's really the fight isn't included and it's usually flight is the first response to flee according to what he says but but later on it goes into like interrogation what to look for and just in interviewing people like how they what they do with their hands face, touching like their neck or pacifying behaviors. I don't know. I thought it was pretty interesting. And I'm going to read uh, The Last Headbangers about football players from the 1970s. That's next on the docket. Do you recommend pause reps and slow negatives for getting your one rep max flat bench up? Pause reps, yeah, but the slow negatives will help with growth. I don't know if it'll help get your bench press up, but I think the pause reps would. The guy begs for Chipotle. <laughs> Ian refuses to find a job while begging for money online and abuses medically prescribed drugs like Adderall. So he has a, a YouTube channel or something? Can I see myself going for another bench press record like Kevin LeBron did? No. Nah, because I don't plan on taking gear. So. Forty-one years old, male, 181 pounds, benches 230 for five. What's a reasonable number I can ever bench? Uh, enhanced or not enhanced? 
Well, just keep working at it. I mean, 275 for five would be a good mid-range goal for you. The, you know, so it'll look good to have two plates and a quarter. And then your next goal could be 315 for five. You might have to eat your way there. Any hot 20-year-olds at my gym? Actually, there's a hot 24-year-old trainer at the one gym I go to. Very, very thick and athletic. Impressive. She could do pull-ups. I see her sprinting outside. But, uh, she's yeah, she's pretty hot. My eyesight prescription. These are, uh... Um... I think, what is it? I have trouble seeing things up close for, So for like reading. Long distance, my vision is good, but um, my, is it myopic? or I think I'm myopic. But these are bifocal, so these are for reading and, you know, long range vision. I'd rather be tiny but really strong. I've been off gear for three plus years since May of 2019. I feel pretty good. I I always train. My libido lately has been good. Um, my recovery isn't great, but I mean the urge to to lift and be intense is there. So I can't jog very far. I could do a mile on the treadmill, but my shins hurt more than anything. She's dating some creep. I don't know. I, I'm old enough to be the girl's dad. It just, you know, not that anybody should be out of our leagues, but it's just some, I don't know, lack of confidence. And that's, do I, I really, do I really want to, to pursue anybody? I really don't. I'm happy alone right now. So just think of the mindset, the just the culture that a 23-year-old girl's growing up in and just, and I know she listens to, like, rap and hip-hop, so I'm like, ugh, not even into it. She's attractive, though. Way to go, Hamburg. What time is it in Sweden? Big Lenny is one of the best wingmen, for sure. Greg Plitt, yeah, he had a good physique. Uh, I didn't watch too much of his stuff. I mean, I've heard the name. I know what he looks like, so. Should all pro wrestlers take steroids? I think they should for recovery. You know, just certain levels. You want to have the big freak wrestlers and then the smaller guys like Rey Mysterio. A good mix of them. So I don't know if they actually, if they all should, but the bigger freak guys should, but maybe they all should because it's a grueling schedule on the road a lot and things. Yeah, I know I could still have kids. For a guy, I mean, I can go into my 50s and, and beyond and have a kid if I wanted to, but three in the morning, Hamburg. I appreciate you being here, but you should be getting some shut eye, some sleep. Yeah, I was doing the sauna before COVID hit, and then they closed it at Gold's Gym, and then I switched gym. Listens to rap, her boyfriend must be a you know what. You'd be correct. Three years celibate like myself, Lee. Nothing to be ashamed of there. To be happy alone is powerful. Yep. Learn to love yourself, people. You can't love your neighbor till you love yourself. Good night, Hamburg. Kiss your little cute grandson. He's a little angel. I moved out when I was uh, 26. Yeah, 2000, 2004. Yeah. So. Yeah, Mysterio probably took juice. It wouldn't surprise me. Thoughts on ZYZZ? I don't know who that is. I only know ZZ Top. A man doesn't need a woman in his life.
Yeah, I mean, it is. I guess you could say it is black pill, but it's just maybe uh, like the Apostle Paul. I have the gift of celibacy. You had the Ted Arcidi build. He was one of the guys I looked up to. <laughs> Can I have kids with a bad heart? Of course I can. That's not as strenuous as what I do in the gym, my intense cardio. How long do I think I'll last until I need a heart transplant? Probably won't need a heart transplant. Probably just a matter of time before... I'm either going to have some chest pain and have to go get stents or a bypass or have a heart attack. Who knows? It's in God's hands, Kamal. Like, you know, he, he may will me to live 100 years. We don't know that. But of course I could have kids. Uh, different workouts for different size guys. Meh. If you're, you know, just you're... Objective is to put on just muscle size and strength. Not really. If it's more for aesthetics and competing, you might want to switch things up. Favorite ab exercise. I, I would lean more towards core stability rather than like crunches and leg raises. So like planks, you know, progressing on your planks, making them harder. Uh, side planks. Probably those, you know, um, ab wheel rollouts I like. Lifetime fitness. No, I've never been there. It's not one in my area. Favorite ACDC song? Either Hell's Bells or Thunderstruck. Have a, do I have an opinion on father's health? I saw he's out of the hospital and he's looking to drop weight to get to his teenage body weight or something. So good for him. It's probably a scary ordeal. Uh, and like the saying, you know, when you have a scare like that, you don't want to go back to the well one too many times and keep doing what, what you were doing to get you in that position. So hopefully he learns from that. Yeah, I saw Pantera Live two or three times. One of my favorites. Well, I'm doing everything I can, Cabal, to stay alive, uh, whether I plan on having kids or not. So I'm not living an unhealthy life right now by any means. I'm doing everything the right way to for longevity. So, but it's not up to me ultimately. Ideal height for a mate. Uh, my height or a few inches shorter. It would just be strange to me dating a girl that was a lot taller than me, although it would be a good chance the kid would be a genetic freak then. I'd like to meet a girl that's good at bench press or some sort of lift. Father's 277 down from 330. It's good. He probably feels better. Do I miss bouncing? Not really. I don't think I could do it anymore. Back in the day, I liked it, but I was hopped up on GHB. But it was good being around a lot of women, so, so there was a lot of potential to meet chicks. But nowadays, with you know where I am in life, I wouldn't do it. Pantera's coming back, huh? Pray for Big J. I don't know. That's right, Kamal. We can only do what we can. We you know, have to glorify God in our bodies and honor this temple he's given us. But at the end of the day, you know, we can improve our quality of life. But I don't think we could add years to our life. We could take away. So... Best to die in glory and still viral. <laughs> viral. Who's Alexa Bliss? Pierce, yeah, there's a smattering in the area. But 
overall, I like my complex I live in. It's pretty nice. Feet lifting up or moving around during squats. Maybe elevate your heels. Work on ankle mobility. You can watch Squat University on YouTube and Instagram. He has a lot of ankle mobility um, short videos you can watch. Or it could be a shoe issue. You could try those uh, Vibram, those shoes that are like not shoes. They look like scuba diving shoes. But it could be that your, your shoes are too narrow. So it could be, you know, finding the right shoe. But work on your ankle mobility. Uh, you could elevate your heels. Messi's big dog. He's, yeah, we've all been there. You don't have any joy or meaning in life. It's not impossible. We got to pray for you. Pray for Messi's big dog, whoever he is. But uh, I've had those thoughts too. But yeah, it's good that you, you know, you're not, you think of your family and others, how they'd feel and that, you know, no parent should have to bury a child. So, but someone or somebody cares about you. Maybe you have a pet, but you find joy and meaning in, in God, in Christ, I believe it. He, play, he created you for, you know, he gave life to you for a purpose and reason. No, I never had a suit mage when I was huge. No, I'm not looking for a roommate. I couldn't find one in time, so I had to renew my, my lease here. <laughs> yeah, Paul Kersey from Death Wish. <sighs> I'm surprised you don't hear about stuff like that in those, those New York, L.A. type cities. Where the crime is out of control. Thanks, Blahino. That's a good verse. Jeremiah 1 5. Messi's big dog. God said he knew you before you were born. That proves this life is a test and will be judged, but proves meaning and worth as well. <laughs> you got to get out of there. It's sick. It's pissed. That's not good. Interfering with your sleep. Warm-up routine prior to squats and leg day. Well, the gym I was doing, reverse hyper, like light sets of 15 to 20 to warm up my back and my glutes. Banded hip walks. Uh, stretch out your hip flexors. Uh, what else? I do like light cardio on the elliptical, just get circulation. Any drugs okay to use? Yeah, TRT if your levels are low. But I don't know. I'm not a proponent of recreational drug use. A lot of the guy I've been lifting with really sees uh, benefits from marijuana for stress. He's stressed out with his girl, his job. So, hey, if he wants to use it, it's not for me. But drugs, my mother's on, you know, morphine because she's in pain from cancer. So, yeah, it's okay to use when you le legitimately have pain. You know, the marijuana thing's not for me. But if it helps you with stress, helps your appetite. But everything has side effects as well, so. Should we make women dress in veils to leave the house? Actually, wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, I was envious of my friend, uh from the old apartment, the Iraq, the guy from Iraq, his wife was covered up when she left the house. When I entered the house, she had to put her, the headdress on. She was a good cook, took care of the kids. She's probably not watching TikTok all day. I pay like a thousand for rent, one bedroom apartment. Electric's about 65. Uh, so it's gone up. It's reasonable compared to other parts of the country. Divorce or DB, you're getting that kid ready, <laughs> helping him uh, shut all the sugar from the candy into his muscles by doing the push-ups. P 
people can reach out to me on Instagram if they want like a diet or training plan, but I wouldn't say I coach per se. No, my training partner is Irish. He's from California. He's a former Mormon. We've had some good conversations lately about existence and meaning in life and religion. <laughs> good question. Brad, why does Brad make his life revolve around whoever he's fornicating with? Yeah, I like Jordan Peterson. I, I, I watch his clips from his YouTube channel. Would you be Vince Goodrum's, Goodrum's roommate? I'd coach Vince Goodrum. I wouldn't want to live with him. I don't know. What was Saddam's goal for rebuilding Babylon over the ruins of the old city after he'd found them? Maybe he thought he was going to fulfill some biblical or Islamic prophecy or something. Would I beat Vince Goodrum in a chicken wing eating contest? <laughs> He's not too far from me. I should collaborate with him. What do, you, what do you think? When do I think I'll settle and buy property? I don't have savings. It's tough to save in the current uh, economic environment. I'd like to. I'd like to get a home gym after training in a couple friends' home gyms. It's a nice, nice thing to have. So I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to save in my predicament. Come on. Arnold or Seabum? Uh, I'd say Arnold until... But he said, screw your freedom. So I'd say Seabum just because he made that comment. Mick Champ. Anybody here of Hot Girl Summer? Something this generation of women came up with where they sleep with as many men as possible in the summer. Absolutely despicable, demonic debauchery. Is that really a thing? Wow, that's just pleasing to God and their parents, isn't it? Is Arnold overrated? Uh, that's hard to say. Because he promoted himself so well. He, he did have a good physique for that time. I mean, but because he was so um, extroverted as opposed to like Lou Ferrigno or, or, or Franco, he did so well at it. That's, that's what they wanted at the time. But, oh, in terms of bodybuilders of all time, yeah, but he didn't have the drug use, so. Too many whores, not enough housewives. That's a good one. <laughs> Ian expects Christ to step up for him. Yeah, I like Lou. He, Lou had a freakish, uh, freaky physique for a taller guy. Great arms. Yeah, home gyms are overrated. I have one friend that's got a huge barn full of them, like I showed on Instagram. And then Stefan at the Layer's got the basics, which is fine. But either way, it's so much more efficient than going to a commercial gym. I'm on the second floor, though, Kamal, so I don't think anybody would want me uh, deadlifting above them or benching. When are me and Lenny going to meet up again? Uh, who knows? Hopefully one day he'll make the trip up here. Like he said, he could go see Dale Chance and Cornelius and then ultimately meet up with his father in Virginia. Me and Lenny met Big Lou D'Onofrio at the old World Gym in the late 90s, early 2000s. So we've all known each other a long time. 
Lou's a good guy. He's very generous. He's done a lot for me and Lenny. And on that note, I'm going to call it a night here. It's 9.30. Hopefully we can do these little band, uh, beanbag banters again here in the, in the near future. Of course, I'd let welcome Jay in. Good night and God bless everybody. Jay's welcome here. Lenny, Brad, Andrew. Yeah, I appreciate that, Messi. <laughs> Toodles. Have a good one.